Okay, I call it a cheat day. So I usually recommend people to have at least one cheat day, maybe two to start. And then once you get better, then you just have a one cheat day. Like myself, I have in and out I have pizza on Saturdays. Hello, Pastor Nathaniel, how are you? Oh, I'm doing well today. Very good. So we have a pastor here who is struggling. He's doing too much God's work on his feet all the time. And these ulcers are not healing. So this, this has been open for a while, right? You told yes, me? Yes, have. How long has it been? About four years. Four years? It's been like this? The same, same, same spot? Same spot. Yeah, see, it's been four years now. So now my goal is to heal this within a within couple of months. So first thing I'm going to do is to keep him off work so he's not on his feet too much because that's very important, offloading. Uh, as I mentioned in other videos, it's very important to take pressure off this area, not being on it. Uh, he's diabetic, so he has to be on it, do some stuff, so, but right now he needs to be off of it. As soon as we get all the good bleeding going, then I'm going to send him over to hyperbaric treatment, which is amazing for these ulcers. I've seen ulcers heal within, within days. I mean, that, that's how quickly the uh, hyperbaric can work. So I'm going to take some of these things out of there. Uh, it's been packing because it's been draining a little bit, so you can see there's little gauze in there looking things. So it's been packing. So we need to kind of clean all of this out today and then let it bleed out from inside out. And then you have something here. That's yes, what it's medicine. Oh, you put stuff on it? Yes. So this is like a What is this like a something you put on? Yes. Oh, okay. Doctor Batista recommended. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yes. So we're gonna clean it out uh, underneath here. Actually, this looks pretty good. If I can get this to bleed and then kind of come together, I think that may be the first one to heal. And then you have another one on this side. So I'm gonna take this gauze off of it. And then I'm going to go in there and clean all of this out. So we're going to get to that one a little later. So let's, let's get started with this one first. I'm going to raise the table up a little bit. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to start cleaning out the, the ulcer. So you're on your feet a lot right now, right, Pastor? Yeah, too much. Too much, huh? Yeah, so I'm going to... Get him off work. I know he's probably workaholic, right? Yeah, Are you workaholic? I work too much. You work too much, right? I can tell. So I know he can get well because he's a motivated guy. So once he's focused, he knows what to do. I think we can get him to go get better really fast. So I usually pick a good patient to do this with me because I need a lot of help from the patient. I have to change their diet. Um, all the routines um, I'm just creating all the routine videos right now about what I do in the morning how I get myself ready what I do during the day and what I do in the evening and nighttime to prepare myself all the time so that I'm not plagued by diabetes because diabetes can really uh, overburden your system and consume you so that's what we're doing so let's talk a little bit about your diet, uh, Pastor Nathaniel. Okay. How's your diet? Overall good? You eat good stuff? You don't eat junk? or? Well, like last night, I, I did eat, um, I, ate, um, I ate um, a salad. Oh, a salad, good. I went out to my son's birthday party, I ate a salad. Oh, wow. And, You're a salad guy. And, and it was good. A, mm. a chicken salad. Uh -huh. And I can start eating like that uh -huh. on a regular basis. Yeah, yeah, okay. So... What what are the stuff that you like that you shouldn't be liking? Like hamburgers. And <laughs> hamburgers, okay. They're not good. Yeah, yeah. Actually, I have a different opinion about it. We human beings need to do stuff that not good for us once in a while, such as like a cheat day. I call it a cheat day. Mm -hmm. So I usually recommend people to have at least one cheat day, maybe two to start. <laughs> And then once you get better, then you just have a one cheat day. Like myself, I have In-N-Out, I have pizza on Saturdays. Oh, okay. And 
by the way, when I do that, I check my blood sugar, it doesn't go up. Why? Because the other six days, I don't have any of that bad stuff, right? Oh. So your body cannot, you know, you're not, that's not happen right away, but your body somehow adapts to it where some sugar doesn't bother you that much anymore, you see? Okay. So, um, your I body just, still does make insulin. Huh? Just not, your body makes insulin, just not as much. No, you're mm -hmm. making a lot of insulin. Oh. They're not sensitive. In other words, it's called insulin resistance. Yes. It's like my son, who is 11 years old, who doesn't want to listen to me. Mm -hmm. They know how to listen to me, they just don't do it. Yeah. It's called insulin resistance. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you have a lot of insulin. When you're type 1 diabetic, you have a little bone sitting here. So I need to cut the bones out. So you could have, you can have a lot of insulin, which is what, because when you eat sugar, insulin comes out. Getting calls in. So, so it's not true. You're bleeding well, by the way, which is good sign. Good, good sign. Yes, yes. So. You could have a lot of insulin in your body right now, but it's too much insulin. It's like having, you know, my office can have a hundred employees. They're all stacked up each other. They're, they're not going to be able to work very well, right? Mm -hmm. That's called insulin resistance. People don't understand that, but that's what's going on with you, you and I. That's why what we have to do is obviously reduce the amount of sugar. Then a lot of insulin is not going to come out. You have too much insulin right now. Mm -hmm. And they're not working too well. Okay. They're all stacked up with each other, bumping into each other. You know, they're not communicating because it's too many of us. Okay. Do, do you know what I'm saying? Are you, are you hurting? I don't understand you. No. Okay. So. I'm going to have to re, uh, uh, re-educate myself. Right, right. So I'm, I'm oh, making videos on those. You can watch those. Or I'll give you a sheet right now. It's called the anti-inflammatory diet, which is what I recommend. Because when you're diabetic, you have a lot of inflammation of the body because you're we have a lot of sugar. Sugar is very, very toxic stuff. It's a very dirty fuel. It leaves all these chars and everything, right? It's called react, reactive oxygen species. It, it, you know, when you cook meat, all that black stuff comes out? Yes. It's like that. It, it almost looks like that. It causes a lot of, you know, residues and a lot of bad stuff left over. Now you can see that it's got really good bleeding going at the edges. If we can do this every week, he's going to heal really fast uh, along with the oxygen treatment. So you can see how well he's bleeding. It's, it's beautiful looking now. Okay, you might not agree with me, but okay. So now we're going to move to this one. And then this one also same issue. We need to clean out all the edges here because he's got good circulation actually. So, okay, so I, I would like you to pick out a couple of days to start. Those are your cheat days, okay? Don't, I mean, don't cheat too much, but you can cheat a little because guilt. People feel guilty when they cheat, whether you like it or not. Especially the pastor may feel even more guilty because he's a pastor, right? <laughs> so... When you are guilty of cheating, then you become stressed. And when you get stressed, guess what? Cortisol comes out from your kidney area and it raises your blood sugar without your thinking. So you don't want to be guilty. So you got to cheat with your pride and you deserve it. You, des you were so good for so many days. So now I deserve to cheat a little bit. Okay. Don't cheat too much, but don't feel guilty. He's just following my program. I said at least two days to start cheating, okay? Mm -hmm. And then uh, maybe get it down to one day. Usually the other six days, I, if I see sugar, I don't touch it. But that day, I'm waiting for that Saturday, right? Well, like um, last night, it was a birthday party. Uh -huh. I didn't have any cake. Wow. Uh, By the way, yeah. I don't recommend that, Pastor. No. I recommend you have a little bit of cake, maybe one bite, two bite, maybe 
maximum three bytes. I usually get two bytes. Because mm -hmm. if you go three bytes, then you may want more. <laughs> mm. Right? So he's bleeding well here as well, as you can see. So I'm getting rid of all the thick calluses, which kind of gets in the way of it healing. As you can see that he's bleeding well on the edges. So that's how he closes this whole thing. So when you go on a function like that, have some. That's your cheat day now. You see what I'm saying? Okay. Have some cake. Have some, but don't overdo it. Don't don't have the whole cake or <laughs> one or two, you know, big pieces, right? Just have a few spoonful. I usually get one or two just to get a taste. And you know, it's a social thing. You know, you wanna you wanna be with the people, right? Sure. You don't wanna you don't wanna look like a family. Yeah, your family. So you don't wanna look like you're you're not enjoying the party at all, right? Now you can see he's bleeding well, as you can see. And this requires a lot of work right now because all this thickness has to come down also. Okay. And I'm going to send him over to hyperbaric oxygen right away to get all oxygen in here and show everybody how quickly we can close this. Okay. How about your water? What? Uh, I love water. You like water? Okay, that's good. I, I, I don't. That's one of the things I do. Do, do well? Okay. Water. Okay, good, good. I'm glad you do because I don't. Mm -hmm. So I do a lot of juicing. Okay. I order vegetable juice, root vegetables or other vegetables. So that's what I eat. Now you can see that it's got good bleeding. When there's a bleeding on the corners, like in the edges, that's how it's going to shrink down and it, this one's really clean and I think this probably will be the first one to close. The other one's a little bit deeper. So I think I think we're gonna be good with this one. Okay, I know it looks like it doesn't look that good, but it actually is because it's bleeding well. All the tissues are pink. See how nice it is? The other one was a little bit deeper than this one, so I think I think this is gonna heal really fast. Because it's bleeding, let me close this up real quick so that it's not bleeding too much. Okay, and then... Bleeding tells you that there's circulation? Yeah, circulation, so it's a good thing. If I don't see bleeding right now, now then I cannot guarantee it's gonna heal in two, two months, but now I see this bleeding really well, so I'm very hopeful that we're gonna be able to close this very quickly. If you stay off of this and not put weight on this because any kind of pressure in this area is going to um, make it not heal. There's too much movement, right? Yeah. So I'm just wrapping this up a little bit right now because it's bleeding. Then we're gonna go to the other side and finish that side up. I am very hopeful after cleaning this out, if you do all the great things like what you're doing with the, um, with the, um, eating well and controlling those. Now this one, you can see, this one's a little bit deep, but we need to get rid of all these layers. So imagine every week if I do this, it's gonna close pretty quickly because it's got a lot of layers. All the layers need to be cleaned out, especially around the edges. Because that way, it's gonna, it's gonna close. So you like water, you don't need soda or anything like that? No soda. No soda, huh? Okay. You have a lot of stress? Uh, yes. We all do, right? Yes. <laughs> well, you're a pastor, so you need, people don't listen, right? <laughs> I take on their problems. You do, huh? Yeah, yeah, I can, I, I, I hear you. I try not to well, when patients complain to me, but as you can see now, it's bleeding well now, see? It's bleeding really well. This is very hopeful as well. Yeah, it's looking good. So today I'm gonna give you the diet sheet, All right? Okay. Also gonna give you um, how to get into some of my other videos to heal your gut. 
you have to create probiotics, good bacteria. Without good bacteria in your gut, you will not be able to control your diabetes, okay? And it's a really secret that very few doctors know, unfortunately, because um, they somehow don't have that knowledge. I don't know why, but uh, it's, it's knowledge is out there. I didn't, I didn't create that, actually. But as I studied it, and I did a lot of probiotics and good bacteria, you know, all the things that I share on my videos, when I did that, my sugar automatically started controlling itself. So we have the ability to do it. It's just, we, don't, we just don't know how to focus on it. Now you can see that it's bleeding very well, as you can see. In fact, this is a small one, so this may be the first one to actually close. It's a small one. It's bleeding really well. There's really nothing bad in there. It's all clean in there. So I'm very hopeful that this may be the first one to close. But, Pastor Nathaniel, I think this is going to all close very nicely. Yeah. yeah, because it didn't look that clean when I started cleaning it up, but now... I can see how well you can really heal and with all your diet and all the good food you're already eating if you can stay off work for a little bit and then do the oxygen treatment i think in no time i think we may be able to close this Excellent. amen to that right amen. <laughs> okay very good okay. so we're going to film the progress of how pastor nathaniel is doing and then we'll give you the final product soon and i share with your world uh, with you and the world that it is possible to heal four years old wound very quickly. Okay? Thank you, the Pastor. Thank Appreciate you, it. Okay, we're going to film some more in the future. Thank you so much.